The Missouri governor is passing or is signing is going to sign two bills limiting transgender rights. Um, one banning gender affirming care. Another is banning trans women from being in sports. At the moment, I'm not questioning me being a gay Republican. I'm questioning if I'm a Republican. Yeah, more uh, Republican people and the LGBTQ community should be questioning their politics. Um, the more they hope the right wing limit their rights, the worse it's going to become for them. And why do they want that? Two bills making their way to Missouri Governor Mike Parson's desk, who right now both limiting transgender rights, now causing division from Jeff City to St. Louis. One bill would ban transgender girls and women from playing in women's sports from elementary all the way to the collegiate level. The other bill limits transgender health care for minors in the state. They'll have to be 18 to receive gender affirming care. Tonight, our John. Imagine having any other disorder and being told. You have to wait until you're 18 to get treatment. Uh, you know, maybe you need a heart transplant. Well, too bad. You got to wait until you're 18. You got uh, severe depression and bipolar disorder. Well, too bad. You got to wait until you're 18 in order to get treatment. It, it, though it's funny how uh, right-wingers are wanting to complain that, like, the quote-unquote experiments for... I mean, not, not experiments, but the medical treatments for transgender people are quote unquote experimental when they had no issue with that in the past about giving kids experimental drugs like Ritalin and the such and forcing them to deal with adverse side effects because they wanted kids to sit down and in school. Kipper is live in Jefferson City hearing from both sides of the aisle on these bills. John. Yeah, Corey, Sam, like you said, if you're a trans kid in the state of Missouri and under 18, and you have yet to receive gender affirming care. It's likely not going to happen as Governor Mike Parson is expected to sign the bill that was at the top of the list for Republicans here in Jeff City this session. Now that bill bans minors seeking gender affirming care like puberty blockers, hormone treatment and certain surgeries. Yeah, if a minor wanted to get breast augmentation right wingers wouldn't wouldn't have any issue with them getting bigger breasts as a minor does expire in five years and would have to be re-upped to remain law the bill also does have a grandfather clause republicans argue it's common sense and that is it is experimental surgery that has no place for kids well state rep barbara pfeiffer has a transgender grandkid and she's not mincing words Oh, well, every family is an asset to the state of Missouri. And you think about people leaving, fleeing a state because their children are denied medical care. It's horrific. So what happened in Nazi Germany? Yeah, people had to flee because Nazis were passing laws, either killing people or making their lives worse in some way. And that's what the right wingers want to do. They want to erase the existence of people that they don't like. Um, it started, you know, when gay people wanted to get married. They did everything they could to demonize gay people, say that they were infecting children with hom uh, homosexuality. And, and, and that started a long time ago when they were saying that uh, gay men were uh, predators of kids, when that is not the same whatsoever. Two consenting adults um, loving each other is not the same as an adult forcing themselves upon a child. And, but this is what right-wingers like to do. They like to demonize their opponents or the people that they dislike, marginalized people, to, be, to make it easier to pass laws targeting these people. Well, this is a cultural war that um, we did not start. This is something that is being thrown in the face of Republicans. Um, you know, redefining what a man and a woman is, um, like all norms that we've had in the past being completely thrown out. Re yeah, everything gets redefined all the time. Uh, black people have be been redefined as uh, from being property to actual people. Should we go back to that norm where black people were property?
Now, earlier this session, the House did pass a stricter version of the bill. No grandfather clause and no expiration date, but the Senate would not agree to that. Now, coming up at 630, we're going to hear more from Pfeiffer and hear about a few other bills that still could be passed in the final days of this session. Reporting live, John Kepper, News.